why is EMF exposure or Wi-Fi a big deal when it comes to our overall toxin burden? We are chemical electrical beings by nature. So our heart, our brain, our nervous system, even on a cellular level, we're using little electrical signals in our body to tell us how to function, how to think, to sense things. When we have these artificial frequencies from the outside that overlay and interfere with the body, then that causes a lot of problems. It causes interference, it causes inflammation. And there's a lot of studies that are starting to come out now. Even for the past 40 years, there have been a lot of studies. There's really no debate on whether EMF is harmful for people. The debate has always been about how much, at what level is it harmful, mm. and for how long can we be exposed, and for what type of person. For my 90-year-old grandma that has cancer versus a 14-year-old boy that's healthy, there might be some different exposure levels there. And so that's where all the argument and that's where all the debate comes in. But I don't think anybody's going to uh, argue with you if you say put your head in the microwave and that's safe for you. That's <laughs> EMF. And so at a high enough level, it will kill you rather quickly. How healthy do you want to be? You know, the studies are there. The proof is there. There's no argument that EMFs are bad. The argument, again, is at what level?